So Canva have just released their Canva Create video. It's one and a half hours long, but I have watched it and condensed this down to make it more applicable to an Amazon KDP account and Canva user. There is tons of good stuff in here. Their new features are awesome. So watch this video to the end because there is going to be something for everybody. And this is going to help you to make more money using Canva on your Amazon KDP account. It's going to increase your capacity to make better covers using things like gradients, photo manipulation. It's got great ways to use AI to write descriptions and even translate your books from your language into a different language. So there's loads of quality stuff in this video. Watch till the end. You are not going to regret that. And let's go. Let's talk about the gradients. Okay, this new feature is about adding some depth, some quality, some professionalism to your covers and also also your interiors if you wanted to, but this is going to be particularly amazing for your covers. So we are going to be able to now add gradients to the color palette that we have. So for example, looking at this cover here, the blue background is very simple, plain, it's obviously just one color. But now we have the option of if we click it and we go up to the color, and we actually just ho hover over there, you can see this new button inside the color, click here, and then come over to gradient. And this allows us to add a gradient. All these different styles are available to you and it's just brilliant because it really adds, it adds some depth instantly and quality to the look of your cover. You can move these colors around. You could add a color even. So say if you wanted to add some pink in there as well. I mean, it's, it's really limitless as to what you could do and how you could do this. And if you say perhaps this shouldn't be here, let's get rid of that guy. If perhaps you only wanted this on the front cover or on the back cover, you're doing something completely different. That would be possible by, let me just go backwards here, get rid of all of that effect. You could just grab a shape, an element of a square. Let's just come over here onto our cover and kind of make it not too much bigger because of the effect we don't want the effect going off the page then we're going to change that to match the color that it was before and now we could add that gradient just to the front cover so again click over the color again go to gradient and now if we wanted it just on the front cover we've got that option of course now we'd know to need to go to position just put that backwards so that we've got everything on our front cover and as you can see, that has made a huge difference. So that is something that I will be using again and again and again. I think that's really, really, really helpful. A big change to Canva is their new layers option. So that before it was quite difficult to grab different features and, sorry, grab different elements when they were overlapping. Um, you may have found this as well. Now, this is a very simple design. There aren't many elements on here, but if you had, say, five or six elements around this mandala, some of them are overlapping, some of them are not, you know, some of them are at the front, some of them are at the back. It was quite difficult to, to visualize that and understand what graphics are on top of which graphics. Well, now we have this layers feature. So to demonstrate this, let's add a couple of elements. If we added a circle here, and perhaps, yeah, we'll just add it. Yeah, we'll add a circle here. This is purely for the demonstration. Let's change that color to say, I don't know, a darker blue. And let's put a gradient on that as well. Okay, it's already done one. Let's add that. So now we want to put that behind the mandala. So if we click on position, now we have this button here, layers. And when you click on layers, it's showing every single thing that's on your document and what is in front of what. So there's the mandala down here. Now we could drag this up and put it on top of that circle and it's instantly there. So you can, you can use this to move things around and get them in the right order. And you can also use this to select things. So it's a big, it's a big game changer when you've got a lot of elements on a page. So I think that's another really, really great feature Canva have added for us. So just to show you again where that is, if you click on your element and you go to position, you've got layers up here. You can also see if anything is overlapping anything else. So at the moment, it's showing me that the words coloring book are at the front and nothing's overlapping it. But the mandala, if I brought this up, now the mandala is on the top. So you can see the little point of the M is coming over the word coloring book. So 
really, really helpful with the layers. You may have already seen this feature, but we now have the draw feature. So we can click on draw and yet yeah, this is something that is quite new. I think this will improve at the moment. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's certainly for certain designs, it's going to be useful, maybe like kids books and things, because you can actually demonstrate drawing. But yeah, we could use the pen. Let's change the color if we added maybe a black and we can actually just draw. You can change the size of what you're drawing over here. And yes, you could add little elements however you wish. And each of these elements now becomes their own entity. So you can actually grab them and you could just change the color of one or even add the gradients onto these little elements that you've drawn, which instantly makes them look a bit better, let's be honest. And just having them black so really cool what you can do that's definitely a new feature and don't forget as well when you do change something for example if I did change this black one to have the gradient as well I can change all down here at the bottom click that and it's changed them all in one go this one's a bit big, let's bring him in. So, I mean, that's not something I'm suggesting you add to a cover, but it's purely for demonstration purposes that there are ways that you can really personalize things and make things very individual and in just how you want them. So you can use the draw element to maybe add to something that already exists in Canva if you wanted to just change a little bit of it and make it your, more your own. I also wanted to show you quickly how to crop an element because I didn't know how to do this for a while. So I'm just going to add this in there because it used to drive me bananas. But um, you may already know this, but I'm going to very quickly show this. So if I wanted to change this element out, say I delete this one and I wanted this element, I'm going to control copy, control V, and I want to bring this over here, but I only want half of the element. So if you double click, you can actually crop. You can just drag this up and you can crop it like this. Click done, and now you have half of an element, so you could maybe line this up down here, and you, oh, that's not quite lined up, but you see the point, and you could have that, so you've got some congruency in your design, and you can use elements and use pieces of elements, so we could maybe control copy, control V, bring this up here, we could flip it, flip this way, and we could have this up at the top as well just an idea, something that I struggled with for a long time. I don't know why, I just couldn't work out how to crop an image. And all you have to do is double click on it. It's so easy, but sometimes you just don't know what you don't know. I also wanna show you the blur feature. So if we wanted to add maybe an element over here of a mandala, let's go to photos and let's pick a photo. Let's pick this photo. And we wanted to make this as a very, very much almost a background image uh, graphic to our design. So let's bring this down. Let's bring this here. Now again, I'm going to make sure it fills the back cover. I'm going to double click and I'm going to crop it slightly. Let's just make sure it is in keeping with the design. So I'm going to do that. This is massively overlapping with these mandalas. So I am just gonna bring these down for the sake of the design. Okay, so looking at this image now, if we edit the photo, we've got something called blur down here. So we can click here. It comes straight in at 50%, but you can change this. So you could make it, obviously that's zero, no blur. Maximum blur just changes it into a big blob. But you could add some blur here and you could also change the transparency up here. Transparency, bring the transparency right down. So this is just really a kind of pattern now rather than being a photograph. Say so maybe if we went down to 16 or so. And there you see you've got something again which can just very quickly add some depth and interest to a, to a cover. Now this isn't reaching our spine, so we would just do this. And obviously we've got some bleed over on the other edge to work with. But now if we zoom in, we can see that this photo is on top of the spine, which definitely we would not want. So we would go over to position layers. Let's have a look here. Okay, so we've got the photo on top of the spine. 
we want the spine on top of the photo. And that's, we want the spine on the top, top, let's say. And then that's going to work. Another new feature is looking at photographs. So this is a photograph, it's an element from inside Canva, this is not my own. But what we can do is we can now use something called Magic Eraser. So edit photo and you're going to find this feature here, Magic Eraser. And what you do is you just brush over parts of the photo that you don't want there anymore. So let's try it with this cup here. So we would just, you keep your finger on the mouse as you're doing this and you just go all over the thing you don't want. And I'm going to include that shadow because that would look strange being there without the cup. Let go and it will just start erasing it. Now again, I think this AI technology will improve as time goes on. It's probably quite new. Well, it's certainly new in Canva. Um, so it's not perfect, but it's really, really helpful if it's something small, you know, or if it's just something like a little blemish, something that you just don't want in your photograph, and um, really, really helpful. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's done a pretty good job, but you can go again, you know, you could go again if it's left little pieces. And what it's doing is using the, the remaining background to fill in what you are erasing. So let's just go again. I think going two or three times sometimes is actually quite useful. It really depends on what the background is, but that's pretty good, isn't it? So there you can see that's got rid of that mug there. And then if we just go back, that will save that. And it's gone now. Yeah, I know it's not perfect because you have got a big splodge there, but if that's because you're looking for it as well. Remember that you are looking, <laughs> but if you're not looking, then that's pretty good. And say if you wanted to add something else here, your own element then you could much more easily now without having to try to get it to fit exactly over that mug so that's really useful so that's called photo er that's called what's it called magic arrays and if you're not happy with that at all don't forget you've always got the background remover which i will just very quickly show you so let's put that photo back in as it was and yeah, we just click, we edit photo, and you have got background remover. Now, as you can see in this example, it doesn't actually get rid of the mug, which is quite ironic because that's what we were erasing. So background remover is not perfect either. That's a, I think most of these things are going to be pro features and pro tools. But in this case, you know, you still have got the mug there. And if that's not what you wanted, if you were really trying to get rid of it, you haven't got rid of it with background eraser, but you know, you can always like stick an element on the top, maybe a square. Ooh, let's add a square. You know, you can put a square over the top in Canva and change the color and then you've got rid of something that way. So there are different ways to kind of fudge it and get what you want. But both of those features, background remover and also the um, magic eraser are fantastic magic edit is something it's a cool tool but it's not something i really see us using in kdp but i'll just quickly show you what it is so yeah you basically you cover up what you don't want and continue and then it says what do you want so maybe if we wanted a slice of cake let's generate that Okay, and it gives us a few different options, but you know, this is just, I, I don't think the technology is personally quite there yet, but you know, it's a good idea. <laughs> and as we can imagine, this is only going to get better and better and better. This is, this is us using AI for the first time, or the certainly within its first year on, on places like Canva. So that is something, as you can see, Canva is tripping out here. This is not me. This is Canva just basically struggling <laughs> so it's all new there's still background stuff going on and it's just going to get better and better and better but yeah i'm just going to click done out of that because that isn't something i'm particularly bothered with oh and it's oh it is there <laughs> it is there it was just hiding so i mean yeah does that look good i'm not too sure Another fantastic feature which we now have access to is Magic Write. I think that's what they're calling it in here, but it's basically AI technology inside Canva now. So let's say this is an interior of our book and we wanted to get some inspiration. So we can just click down here to Canva Assist. Yeah, Magic Write. Let's click, ma click Magic Write. So you could use this, for example, to 
give me five advantages to coloring man dollars. And as quick as that, it is giving you some information. It reduces stress, anxiety, enhances creativity, etc., etc., etc. So how cool is that? You can use this for interior pages of your book to give some extra information. You could use this as part of your description. So it's so, so helpful. And another brilliant thing that they've added as well is translate. So if you are currently just focusing your books towards English speaking countries, but you now want to make them translated to French or Spanish or whatever you want, we can now do that inside Canva. So say you've decided, right, this is brilliant. I want to keep this. Let's just remove the actual prompt. And let's click on the element and down here, translate. What do we want to translate? Automatically detect, translate this to, let's say French. Select apply to page, apply, we're on page four. So let's just go for page four, translate. And look at that so fast. We now have this in French. Now this, this is really good for Amazon KDP because I think translating some of your books might be just what you want to do. And this could save you a fortune in having to pay a translator. Um, I don't speak French, so I don't know if that's perfect, but maybe, you know, you know someone who is French, who knows, and you could just run it by them. Another cool feature is we can now have 12,000 images and elements per document. Apparently it used to be only a thousand. I'd never hit that limit, but maybe you had. So now we can have more elements and images inside of our documents. If you are creating a huge book, then maybe that is something that is really, really helpful. We have also now been given the option to have 300 pages per document. A pre previously it used to be 250 and not that long ago it used to be 100. So they are constantly allowing us to create bigger and bigger files inside Canva, which is also so, so useful. I'll give you a little quick tip if you wanted to set up your pages. Let's just create a new document. So let's just create a new design, say, let's go inches, whatever eight by eight create a new design and say we want to just set up like almost like a template so we could just go to elements go to borders okay let's just pick this one for speed control copy control v bring this up here flip it around okay so this is quite a thick border but hey let's say this was our border and we can now duplicate the page and then if we go down here to grid view you can see we've got the two we can just hold down shift and select them both control copy and v you can do that a few times and now if you select them all and control copy and control v you are doubling and then again obviously if you did that for all of these you've got 30 control copy control v now you've got 60. so you can quickly set up pages very very fast that all look the same um, and then th in this view it's brilliant because you can shuffle the pages around you can add pages in if you want if you just hover you can add a page in there um, and you can see your book from a bird's eye view.